y'all. This is Marley K. Hope everybody is well. Got a story that we want to pay attention to. It came out on yesterday, March 14, 2024. It's on Reuters. It says U.S. agency probes risk of foreign satellite use by handheld devices. <sighs> Can't do nothing now. So it says the FCC uh, said Thursday it is investigating if the use of Russian and Chinese foreign satellite systems by U.S. mobile phones and other devices pose security threats. So, um, you know, this may be how they keep us from communicating because they may ban or disband um, the use of any type of foreign device. So if you got a Samsung phone or some type of uh, a cell phone that's not approved by them because they fear that there's um or they want to say the boogeyman is fine on us then they can stop you from using these phones and then they can require you to use some other phones that have the stuff that they want you to be able to use during the new beast system so these people get on my nerves i'm so sick of them i'm sick of them sick the FCC has concerns U.S. handheld devices are receiving and processing global navigation satellite system signals from satellites controlled by foreign adversaries in violation of commission rules. But why now? Like, if you thought it was a problem, why did you let these phones come into the country? Why? You know what I'm saying? So, like, all of a sudden right now before the eclipse, everything is a damn problem. Every damn thing is a problem. I don't understand. I just don't understand. So it says the FCC is seeking answers from handset manufacturers, Apple, Google, Motorola, Nokia, Samsung, and others that collectively cover over 90% of the U.S. smartphone marketplace. The companies did not respond to requests for comment. There is no established record of what security threats, if any, these signals carry and whether the manufacturers of handheld devices are processing these signals in violation of the commission's rule, an FCC spokesperson said. So they're going to use that, too, as an excuse. You remember how on um, Leave the World Behind, and we're talking about we didn't have communications and phones didn't work. So when the boogeyman do whatever the boogeyman is going to do, your phone ain't going to work. So that's basically, they're prepping us for this stuff. Um, and they're going to be able to say the boogeyman, one of the boogeymans that they love to conjure up. It, and we don't know who the boogeyman going to be. I'm just going to put it out there. We don't never know. All we can do is understand that we are collateral damage. And you got to prepare. So you got to have a different communications plan for when you don't have internet and when your phone don't work. Because the majority of us don't have landlines. So... Um, you know, if you have a neighbor with a landline, you better be friends with them. But if you have people in your family who don't have landlines, it would be futile because nobody's going to be able to communicate. So they're letting us know that these phones are not going to work um, unless they want them to work. They're probably going to make us get rid of these phones and come out with the plan. They're probably going to send everybody a free phone in the mail. It's going to already have. Your digital wallet that of choice that they want you to have is probably going to be Google, Android, and um, it's getting ready to be wild, y'all. It's getting ready to be wild. We got to really be thinking this stuff out because it's coming fast and furious. I think so much stuff is going to happen in April. It's going to be unbelievable, but at least we'll be prepared. We will have discussed it before the internet goes down. So that's my goal to try to talk about as much stuff as I can to plant as many seeds as I can to um, try to try to talk this out and figure out where they're going because we know what the end, end game is, but how they're going to usher us in there and how they're going to deceive us. Like if we're going to be the elect, like we got to be smarter and sharper than everybody out here in these internet streets. So we're going to be um, figuring a lot of this stuff out prior to the internet going down so that we'll know what's going on. When everybody else shocked and scared. We're going to be sitting around reading books, tilling up our gardens, doing stuff, looking crazy. Like what's wrong with y'all? Why y'all acting so fool? 
it's not that it's not that serious. Like we lived in a time where we didn't have phones and internet. Even when I was young and poor, I didn't have no phone. If I wanted somebody to go outside and talk to people, I didn't have internet because it wasn't no internet for poor people. We didn't even have internet at some point. So like it's not that serious. Now it will impact me. I won't be able to do my job, so I ain't gonna have no money. But guess what? I got some canned goods. I got some Gatorade powder. <laughs> I got me some salt. I, I got some charcoal and pellets. I know how to go outside and cook. My friend in the military taught me how to dig a pit so I can burn stuff and get rid of waste and cook. Um, um, We're going to do life. Black people going to do life. And the ones who don't know how to do life going to learn for the, from the ones who do. Um, so, like, this is a time to learn how to do stuff and buy books. And like I said, go collect stuff. Go to the thrift stores, buy books, things that's going to teach you how to do stuff when the power goes out, when there's no Internet, when uh, you have no phone to entertain you. You're going to have to get back to the basics. It's going to be always something to do from sun up to sundown. You're going to be working. So um, that's how we used to do back in the day. You're going to rest in the evening. And when the sun come back up, you're going to get to get in. Whether it's you got to walk someplace, whether you got to go outside and tend to something, or you might have to stay up all night to protect your stuff that you got and work with a community of people so that you can be safe. So um, we're going to um, not have communications at some point, I'm just assuming, since they already tell us that 90% of the U.S. smartphone market is create, is um, in the hands of, I guess, uh, or have some components made by adversaries but like if you know they're your adversary why did you let them do that so you know what i'm saying so people be mad at the adversary but don't be mad at the politicians that allowed this to happen that sold us out so again it's just another example of this country is sold out we've been sold out and so if you look at you looking for them to save you they don't have a solution to save you because they sold you out they intentionally put you in in danger so that when they introduce the solution, it's not going to be what you think it is. So this is why it's going to be very important for you to get it in your spirit. Um, you're going to have to deny some things. You're going to have to sacrifice. You're going to have to flat out be sealed with um, you know, the sign of the Most High, letting him know what side you're on. Because if you're not, um, you're going to fall for anything. You're going to be deceived and you're going to um, find yourself in a world of trouble. So understand these cell phones, they, they're telling us what's coming. And um, the more uh, I understand, the more just I don't know how a lot of people are going to make it. Um you're gonna have you gonna get your new phone in the mail, you're gonna have universal basic income already on it. You could be like, Oh, I I haven't eaten in two weeks. Let me go to Piggly Wiggly and scan my phone so I can get some pig feet and oxtails and neck bones and flour and collard greens and cheese and macaroni. They're gonna let you do that for a little while. Then they're gonna tell you. Uh, you can't buy that no more because we ain't, we ain't eating like that no more. There's no more meat. We done killed all the meat. The meat is for us. Just watch that movie, Soil and Green. I'm telling you, that's what's coming. Green sticks, red sticks, and only rich people going to get some old leftover meat. You'll never see the really, really, really rich high up people because they're only going to be on TV talking to you when they want you to know whatever it is that they want you to know. Everybody else going to be fighting in the streets for green sticks and red sticks and you ain't going to know what it is. It's going to tell you it's protein, it's plankton, it's good. It's going to be, I ain't going to tell you, just watch the movie, Soil and Green. It's, it's coming.
I I see it. All right, y'all. This is Marta K. Hope y'all are really preparing for what's coming. They're not doing all this stuff in advance of this solar eclipse. And they're not doing it prior to the 2025 plan, Project 2025. So um, just make sure y'all are prepping. Keep prepping. Don't stop until you cannot do anything else. All right, this is Marla Kay, and I'm out of here.